Thinking about left rib flare, so this side is a little bit more externally rotated. So you can kind of almost put your hand in through there. Left rib flare is a lot more common. So when we think about rib flare, we want our rib cage to be dynamic and kind of respond to different, depending on the task at hand. We want to be able to expand and compress on the rib cage. Well, in this position with a left rib flare, I'm kind of expanded. So the air is gonna follow the path of least resistance. All the air is gonna kind of go out the left front, which is gonna kind of compress that left low back. So maybe your low back's feeling a little achy. So if we have a rib flare, it's gonna overall be very tough for us to manage pressure through the system and stabilize and feel really strong and connected through our core. So we want to address the rib flare. Now, when thinking about our rib cage, like I said, we want it to be dynamic. So on inhale, we expand, exhale, we kind of close the front door on the rib cage. If you think about the infrasternal angle, it widens on inhalation and narrows on exhalation, but we're kind of stuck in this tight position. So what we really want to be able to do is get some good inhales and exhales to use our obliques, our side abs, to kind of wrap around diagonally and close the front door on the rib cage. We tend to sometimes overuse our rectus, so these front abs, these six pack abs, and kind of crunch down, our chest, chest wall kind of comes down to kind of get that closure on the front side with the ribs, but we wanna be able to utilize those obliques. So we're going to start with just supine breathing. I'm gonna grab a yoga block and we're gonna really focus on those exhalations and using our obliques and getting all the air out of our body. So inhale down into the body, pressure and air travels down, exhale from the bottom up, pelvic floor on up. You can add a squeeze of the yoga block feel it deep or turn on. We're exhaling all the air out of our body. And when we get to that last drop of air on that exhale, we pause for a second. So we can kind of train the brain and our body to hold that more compressed position, more that more that exhaled position in the rib cage. And then we inhale with control and let it go. So maintaining a little bit of tension in the abdominals as we do that, and then we reset and go. Really firing and using those obliques and kind of trying to avoid overusing the rectus. So we lift from the bottom up. So coming onto the back, grabbing the yoga block, placing it kind of between the knees in a position that you can control. Right here, when you think about your inhales, we're not belly breathing, we're getting expansion in the chest, we're thinking lateral expansion, and even breathing down into your back and use the ground as reference. Because when we belly breathe, our tendency is to kind of more seesaw breathing, but I wanna feel the ground, feel my reference, and feel connected. So inhale, belly goes, or pressure goes down into the body. You can place your hand on your rib cage or feet back. And then exhale from the bottom up. As you squeeze the block and feel your ribs melt into the ground below you. So ribs come back. Now inhale again with control. This is really something I'm working on. It's definitely a struggle to not drop my chest and kind of crunch down as I exhale. So really focusing on lifting from the bottom up. Give it a try and let me know how you feel.